So here's a little test of the heat map system I've built. Um, you can add the heat map object to any object that has a mesh collider and it does need to have UVs um, based on its mesh. And when you've added it to the object then in the controller you have to set the texture size and for each of these objects it will create a texture of this size. So you, sh you should keep it a little bit low because it's just for reference to a heat map. You can set the gradient to which uh, you want to have the heat map. So if you haven't looked at any point it will be blue and if you've looked at some point uh, very much it will be red and somewhere in between of these colors. Then we've got the depth. You can set the brush size of one pixel to five pixels and that's about it. So if I run it and I've got the Toby IX uh, controller installed so when I'm looking at the sphere in the middle now a lot and I could for example look at the sphere to the right about here let's say I'm looking over to this point a lot still looking now let's look a little bit to this one to the center I'll look a little bit to here and I won't look to the one down or I try not to look to it and if I press spacebar it will generate the heat maps one by one and you can see all the positions that I've looked at now if I for example change the gradient to black to white if I run it then I can look again to a lot of different points so I've looked to a few points I can press the spacebar and it will generate the heat map based on those colors